Yeah. Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to this lesson of our study of, you know, integral equations. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to support the channel as well, okay? All right, so in this lesson, we just go through how to convert a Volterra's integral equation um, of the first kind to the second kind, okay? All right, so let's start. So um, when we say an integral equation is of the first kind, then we know that the unknown function appears only under the integral sign like this, okay, and no other place again, okay? All right, so if it is a Volterra's integral equation, then we can actually convert it to the second kind. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at how we do it. But first of all, how we do it is that we just differentiate the whole of this equation. Okay, so everything in the equation, x squared equals integral from 0 to x, then e to the x plus t, y of t dt, okay? So you differentiate every term so but i know you remember or if you don't let's go ahead and recall some formula recall that if you have the differential of or the differentiation under integral sign to be like this then the whole of this is equal to f of xt evaluated f b that is you have to get your f of xt then evaluate this at f of xb okay and in effect, you see that it's only the t that will change. Okay, it's f of x b rather. Okay. So you have to know your f of x t. f of x t is everything here apart from the t. Okay, so when you are doing, just take note of that. Okay. So this is equal to f of x b db dx minus f of x a da dx plus the same integral then it differentiates the function that is f of x t partially with respect to x okay so there were the x of f of x t now let's go ahead and do what you wanted to do so you differentiate every term okay in this equation here equation one let's differentiate every term if you want to get the voltage integral equation of the second kind okay so if i differentiate x squared i'll get 2x and this is equal to the differential ddx of the integral zero to um sorry zero to x e to the x plus t y of t dt okay so we are now coming to perform the differential on this one okay so if that is the case then let's go ahead and pick it okay so i've done it here already i will explain them and then you copy it okay so the differential of this now we assume that our f of x t or it's not assume you just take our f of x t and you see we said it's everything under the integral sign except that the t okay so everything from from this side to that side okay so f of x t is giving us e to the x plus t y of t as this one then evaluate f of x b or f of x t at b because the only thing that that change there is the t change to b and here b in the integration is just x okay so what you do is you just replace b by x and you get f of x x equals wherever you see t you put in x so i have e to the x plus x that will give me e to the 2x then y of t but t is changing to x so you get y of x as this so f of x s will be given as this then you differentiate b with respect to s and our b here is x so and differentiate x with respect to s you get one you go ahead and evaluate f of x t at a that is f of x a and then a is here is zero so f of x a meaning wherever i see t i put in zero so e to the x plus zero then y of zero because y is y of t okay so i'll get and if i'll get e to the x times y of zero as that then we differentiate a with respect to x so d zero the x and gives me zero then we have to differentiate this function f of x t partially with respect to x so you can see that f of x t is giving us e to the x plus t times y of t 
Now, the part that has x is the exponent part, that is the e to the x plus t. It has x in it, though. But then when you differentiate e to the x plus t with respect to x, so it's partial derivative of the whole of this with respect to x, it will still give you back e to the x plus t because when you differentiate e to the x plus t, you have to differentiate the power with respect to x that you get 1 and you multiply it by e to the same thing. Okay, so in effect, the partial derivative of the um how do you call it f of xt with respect to x gives you the same f of xt in some cases it will change this is a special case to the exponential function okay all right so let's go ahead and put it back and simplify so we said that this will be equal to f of xx if you remember this is a formula we wrote is f of xx times db dx okay so all those that we got then we come and put them here and evaluate them okay so this would actually yield e to the x y of x times 1 minus 0 plus 0 to x the integral of that that is the integral limit is 0 to x then this there is a dt here please okay and there's also a dt here so we get this as the differential of the whole of this in the question okay so you have e to the x y of x sorry e to the 2x y of s plus integral from 0 to x of the expression e to the x plus t y of t dt okay as your answer from the differentiation of only this integral sign so you go back to wherever you got to this part okay and then you come and put the results you've gotten here okay so let's go back and do that as well so we have um, a final thing to be 2x think where is it we have is it 2x yeah 2x is equal to e to the 2x that's the result you got y of x plus integral from 0 to x e to the x plus t y of t dt so with this, what you have to do is that although this is a Volterra's integral equation of the second kind, but I um, want to make it look so nice at to the um, point that we we'll make y of x stand alone. Okay, so let's pick this whole integral and send it to the left side of the equation. Then we'll get something like two two x. Okay, we we'll get something like two x minus that integral 0 to x e to the x plus t y of t dt is equal to e to the 2x y of x okay so i can interchange the positions of both the left and right side of the equation so i can rewrite it as e to the 2x y of x is equal to 2x minus integral from 0 to x e to the x plus t okay then y of t dt okay so what we do here is that we just divide each term or both sides of the equation by e to the 2x okay and if you do that you get y of x being equal to 2x over e to the 2x okay then minus i hope it's minus right so minus like that 1 over e to the 2x so we are dividing every term of the equation by e to the 2x sorry uh, my pen is misbehaving 2x then integral from 0 to x e to the x plus t then y of t dt and you see that we are integrating with respect to t so this e to the 2x here is a constant so you can you can actually push it through okay and multiply the whole of that integral i hope you get that we can push this through and multiply the whole of this so we have y of x equals 2x then times i'm i'm bringing the two e to the 2x up so you can minus 2x like that and minus integral from 0 to x e to the x plus t over e to the 2x y of t dt okay so I have y of x being equal to 2x e to the negative 2x minus 
then i have the same basis e and e but this is at the denominator so i have integral zero to x let me write what i'm i'm saying e to the x plus t minus 2x y of t dt okay so what happens is that finally we'll get something like y of x is equal to 2x e to the negative 2x okay minus integral from 0 to x um, let me write it e to the you have x plus t minus 2x so you have t minus x or you can say minus s plus t but i love to write it t minus x so that i do always some negatives okay t minus x like that and y of um, y of t dt okay so you could see that this is a very simple um second kind rotarized integral equation because the unknown function that you are seeking for is y of something and it, it happens to be um under the integral sign and also here as well so this has become an integral equation or a voltage integral equation of the second kind as required okay all right so that is the solution to it thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time okay